Go in, Ted, and check- I'm sorry, doll. See, sp- It's a mess. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me, is all. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. Ted and Amber move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. There should be a key around here somewhere, unless someone took it. Having trouble finding your proof of competence, Snoop? I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. I know that much. Sure thing. Take your time. I'll be here if you need me. We'll have to find another way. Come on! Are you even tra- There's a small key up there. It looks lonely. I guess you could say. It's just hanging around. We'll have to find another way.
Lex and you bunny made up, although they have Just. Yep. It's so dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. This won't work. It usually takes... This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. It's locked. I don't think so. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious. You're right. I can't use that. Are you even try? Are you even try? A door that lead? No, really. Door. No, really. That's all there is to it. It leads to the attic. Hence the name, the attic door. There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. It serves as a support for his heavy head when he passes out. It's full of Ted's past cases. There, is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. Having trouble finding your proof of competence, Snoop? I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. I know that much. Sure thing. Take your time. I'll be here if you need me. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's alright. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Rest. There should be a key around here somewhere, unless someone took it. We'll have to find another way. Are you even trying? Hey, I got it working. Subscribe now. Do it. Yes you. You right there.